Um, yeah. Uh, in socials methodology, we, we talk about uh, different ways to, to, to address the issues of geography as opposed to just here's a piece of uh, paper with a, a map of Europe on it, color in the countries. And uh, we discussed this uh, puzzle project where we made turn a map into a puzzle and then the students had to put the puzzle together and figure out what it was all about. And I thought that was really an amazing way of doing it because when I learned maps and socials and geography and all that, it was here's a piece of paper, color in the colors, labeled that. And bored. Nobody learns from that. You just learn how to color and by grade 11 you should be able to color inside the lines pretty well. That's a great question. I would have to say uh, the lectures in Education 420 have been the most informative and interesting. Oh, pardon me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I really think that the, the one exam at the end of the course is uh, really causing me to learn and grow as a future educator in terms of uh, exactly how I will not teach. So that's been really helpful to show me, to model things, things not to do. This guy is so working, working the camera, working that. Uh, yeah, I kind of expected there to be a lot of theory, and I've gotten a lot of theory for sure. Um, I don't know. I've enjoyed it. I think the expectations I did have were pretty matched, yeah. Uh, pretty much on par, I would say. On par. On par for the course, if this were a golf course. Yeah. So if you had to rate it, like, uh, you know, our checklist, would you say it's exceeding, meeting, or not meeting expectations? It would definitely be meeting. meeting. I'd give it a nice M. Excellent. Yes. Uh, some courses have been, have left me feeling, uh, have left me with a bitter taste in my mouth. But overall, I would say that this is this experience has met or exceeded what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I'd say it's mashed up. It's cool. Um. I didn't even know what that position entailed. So once he told me how it's going to work, I kind of ran with it from there. I think they did a good job facilitating me. How did your experience with your FA match up with your expectations? Prior to yeah, the really, really good. My well, FA was awesome. Uh, whatever you want. Uh, that, man. Well, you know what? Um, I was expecting from an uh, organization like UBC for the uh, FA to be uh, prepared and to be um, um, able to meet all uh, student teachers' requirements. Did that happen? I, I can't lie. I'm going to say no. Uh, that did not happen. So uh, I think a better system can be put into place, and uh, a better system must be put into place in order for the FAs and uh, say essays to be um, standardized and to be uh, um, to be good on all levels. Uh, you just can't have that crapshoot when it comes to uh, your, your education and whether you get a certificate or not. So uh, no. It did not meet uh, my standards, and it did not meet uh, many uh, student teachers' standards. So uh, amazing, yeah. It's like top line. I was expecting, I was expecting, you know, mid range, and he was amazing. In what way? In what ways did you find it, like? In what ways did he exceed your expectations? Uh, he was supportive. He was always there. He was always available for anything I needed. Um, he really he went to bat for me. There was a couple of times where I had to uh, step in in TOC classes because the school forgot to call in an actual paid TOC, and I I was an unpaid TOC in charge of four blocks of classes and taught all four several times. And uh, this really didn't sit well with him because that means they got a free TOC and they saved money. And so he went to bat and fought for me on several occasions in regards to that. Yes. Yes, I do. So do you think it's too easy or too hard? Or just right in the middle? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's right in the middle. I think in some, in some ways we could be challenged more. Uh, and in other ways, I think that we are we are challenged, not challenged, but we're given too much that is not relevant to teaching practice. So. Some people might think it's too hard, some people might think it's too easy, but for me personally, I'll give you the uh, my two cents. I think it's, uh, in fact, too easy. Um, if they want to uh, produce world-class teachers, which I believe that's what UBC is all about, uh, they will make the requirements a little bit harder. What that entails, I don't know. 
if I knew that answer, I'd be uh, probably well, gone there. But, uh, you'd be a world class teacher. I'd if you probably knew that be, yeah, that's right, that's right. So, um, in that sense, then I'd say, uh, yeah, uh, they are too, uh, too light and uh, not stringent enough. So, uh, I guess uh, in the future things change, but for now it's uh, that's how it is. I don't think it's too easy or too hard. I think aspects of it are too easy and, and allow people that shouldn't be able to get through to get through. Could you identify maybe one or two? People? Five. By name? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not naming names, man. No, no, no. <laughs> um, no blacklist. But, uh, no blacklist. What would you say would be some things that they could maybe use to make it more challenging or maybe screen out some people that they shouldn't be through? I think there should be interviews, honestly. Uh, if, if this is a professional program, similar to, I mean, it's not the same, obviously, as doctors, or it's not respected the same in society as doctors and things like that, but they, lawyers, doctors, when they apply to those programs, they go through interviews. I think this program needs an interview. Uh, mm. All right, well, you come right back. Uh, no, not really. I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know who's completed a program that has it. Do you think it's too easy or too hard? Um, I don't It's It's too all over the place. I don't think they're... They're streamlined. I think there should be more accountability for students with um, pass fail. It's not really that rigorous. I think there's a lot of pushing students to get through, and I think most students that will fail will fail in the practical. Which on one hand is good, but the course is it doesn't give a lot of weight to the courses. I'd say a longer short practicum to give us a uh, give us a little bit more understanding of what we're getting into and uh, less time spent talking about theory and more time spent within our uh, our groups so for example in social studies more more time spent working with other people and people who are informed in terms of teaching us content uh, the Andrea Webbs Peter Sages is of the with faculty members, more time spent with them, sort of getting their knowledge on on methods of teaching. It might be the same. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'd say there's some pretty interesting courses, and definitely like the social aspect of it. Keep the same. I think I would try to limit the amount of really long classes. I'm finding that really difficult right now, specifically, and have more shorter classes. And what would you keep the same? Keep the same. I think there's a lot of great team building that gets done, and that's really awesome. Great communities built. Are there any skills that you feel you've learned that you will still deem highly useful? Um, well, I, I just think I, I think probably the most valuable thing is hearing other people's less ideas and like. And being in an environment where, yeah, we're all able to collaborate, like even your lesson plan yesterday, I was like, oh, that's an awesome idea. Yeah. So I think that that's probably, it's probably for my peers that I've gathered the most. In terms of my actual classes, I think we all just do what we have to do to get through the class. Well, uh, I think the uh, most important thing you can always take from any program is the fact that uh, it's an experience, it's a journey. And uh, with every experience, you uh, grow a little older. And so um, I think uh, you uh, always remember where you started off from. And uh, so for even 10 years, 15 years, you can just you put a number out there. Um, you always realize that you can keep on growing. Uh, I think that the most useful thing so far has been um, diversity in content and learning ways to engage students beyond sort of the chalk and talk methods that is often associated with teaching. Excellent.